Takura Hoki and Yuga Kobayashi are currently one of the best badminton men's doubles pairs in the world. In this video, I'll be looking at one of the factors which makes them so good and how Takura Hoki reads the game and attacks the net so well. Just a quick reminder to please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Let's look at some of Hoki's plays and how well he reads the game to come forward to the net. In this rally versus Heat and Tan from China, the Japanese pair play a high lift and are on the defence. Kobayashi then returns a straight smash and then a follow up block towards the net. I just want you to look at Takura Hoki here and his positioning. When Kobayashi is defending, Hoki is standing towards the middle of the court and facing towards the shuttlecock to help his partner. In his mind, he is thinking about coming to the net. He knows that one way that he can help his partner and get involved is by covering the net. When Kobayashi is defending smashes, it's harder for him to come forward to return a net shot. As soon as Kobayashi plays the block towards the net, you can see where Hoki is. He is already closing down the net, since his opponent's best shot to play here would be one to the net. Just look at how high Hoki is taking the shuttlecock on the net shot, since he is there so early. Remember this isn't on his side of the court as well, it's on his partner's side. Because he is there early and taking the net shots high, he is able to play another really good net shot back, which forces a high lift from his opponents. This turns the Japanese pair defence into their attack, which wins them the point. Another example of when and where Hoki attacks the net is when he plays a good block towards the net. In the same game you can see here, the Japanese pair have played a high lift but their opponent is playing a smash out of balance meaning he isn't going to get that much power from it. Hoki sees this and adopts a crouch position to play a forehand block to the net. Then as soon as he plays that block he sprints forward to follow up the shot. Hoki knows if the Chinese pair want to stay on the attack their best option is to play another net shot as a return. If they lift it, they give away the attack and Kobayashi will come back to play an attacking shot. By Hoki sprinting forward, it puts so much pressure on the Chinese player to play a perfect net shot. Otherwise Hoki has a good chance of killing it, since he would be there so early. By him doing this, it completely put He Jing Tao off and caused him to play the net shot into the net, since it had to be so tight. Takura Hoki is looking to do this all the time during the game and is reading and calculating the game for every shot that is played. Once Hoki is at the front and they are on the attack, he does an amazing job at intercepting from the front. You can see here when Kobayashi is playing a smash, he immediately comes forward. One important thing is that he always keeps his racket up ready for the next shot. When the shuttlecock comes to him, he is able to hit it down and it's good to note he isn't trying to win the point in just one shot. It takes three well placed shots to finally win it. He plays the shots at his opponent's bodies as well, which makes it a lot harder for Gideon and Sukumolio to get it back over his head because they don't have the space and time to play it. Receiving a serve is one of the best times to be aggressive at the net to start the rally on the front foot. Here is something that Hoki does so well that I think a lot of us could learn from as well. Gideon plays the serve to him and Hoki plays a simple push to the backhand side of Kevin Sukumolio. Look at where Hoki is again though, he plays the return of serve and stays near the front, near the service line. Hoki knows that one of the most likely shots that Tsukumolia will play is a straight drive shot. Knowing this, Hoki intercepts this and is quick enough to react and cut out the straight drive, killing it at the front of the court. This is a really good and simple way of reading your opponent and capitalising on it. Probably one of the best badminton shots from Hoki can be seen here and this is exactly what I mean about him attacking the net so well. Just look at how this rally goes and what Hoki does. The rally starts with a flat drive exchange and gets to a point where Kobayashi pushes the shuttlecock straight down the backhand side. There is only a few things that Kevin Sukumoli could do here and since himself and Gideon are front and back, Kevin would prefer to keep on the attack by either keeping the shuttlecock down or by playing it to the net. Hoki reads this and immediately comes forward. It is ridiculous how early he gets to this shot. When you take a net shot from that high, you can brush the racket across the shuttle, which is what we see here. This allows him to play an incredibly good spinning net shot into the tram lines. Let's say even if Kevin Sukumolio saw that Hoki was running in and played the shot over his head, Hoki knows that Kobayashi would be there and because he is left handed, he would have a great chance to be at the back onto and then hit an attacking shot. And that's what makes his play so smart. He understands what his opponent's options are and takes advantage of that. 
These are just some examples that I found of how Takuri Hoki attacks the net so well. It is something that makes this Japanese pair so difficult to play against and it's great to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.